Um, I, I am uh, extremely proud of our team, and um, it was just uh, this was a, a really awesome experience for us to be selected to play in a postseason tournament. I mean, it was great for our team, great for the university. Um, Friday after we lost in the conference tournament, you know, our whole team flipped the switch off for basketball, and they got into off-season mode. And it was this was a really strange week trying to flip the switch back on and get back into um, you know game playing mode. And I was just real proud at the way our players uh, did that. It, it, it took a little bit of time because Monday we worked out but didn't really know if we got in the tournament. And then Tuesday and Wednesday we prepared for this game. Um, I, I'm just, I, I'm really proud of our players. I thought they came out and battled hard tonight. Um, it was, you know, deja vu for uh, getting behind in the first half. I mean, we just, I, I don't know what the issue is there, but we need to do a lot of soul searching and figure out how to not get down so far at halftime. But, uh, you know, I, I knew with confidence they would come back and make it a ball game in the second half. And, we played a great 16 minutes in the second half and uh, kind of lost our composure at the end and started fouling and gave up some easy shots. But I'm just I'm really proud of the way our players um, handled themselves tonight. You talked about flipping the switch and how it created an awkward week. Then you fell behind 17 to three. Yeah, you know, like you said, it, it was a weird situation. You spent two days thinking your season was over. Then all of a sudden you had a workout on Monday, not knowing if you were going to play. Then you get in on Tuesday and have two full days of practice. But still, as, as much as an, of an honor as it was to be here, it was still a little bit awkward in the way that it happened. Do you think maybe that affected the team's focus at all and contributed to the slow start? Well, absolutely. And this is a, a big week um, academically for our players. And, uh, you know, they turned the switch off on Friday and then they all started studying. We had several players with three tests this week. And um, it, it took a little bit of uh, – it was a mental challenge, you know, to try to get them back into basketball mode. And, um, you know, you know, I'm not going to make any excuses because we've been getting down the first half a lot this season. Um, so that was, you know, kind of deja vu. But, um, um, I, again, you know, I just, I'm really proud of our kids. And, you know, I just love them to death. They've made this a, an historic season for Charleston Southern. And I think the future is really bright for our team. And um, I've said this and I'll say it again that we're really going to miss Tina. Um, that we, we like uh, the new players coming in and, and we like uh, – just to, you know, the players that we have coming back, we've got a really strong nucleus, and then I, I look for all the returning players to uh, be much improved for uh, the 2010-11 season.